Welcome, everybody. It's good to be back from retreat. Some of you were able to join uh, and maybe got a quick glimpse of the retreat. It sure was fun. It's an amazing experience. I feel like I've been to the moon and back. Going back in October, too, just planting a small seed. Anyway, happy Monday. I'll do my best to keep my Dharma talk, whatever that is, brief. You know me, I just like to select a particular spiritual principle, thought, idea, and flesh it out so that we can all synthesize understandings of higher understanding, the kind of understanding that really practically, pragmatically helps in our life. So today I thought I'd select the vast topic of prayer and there are so many of them, so many beautiful ones, so many odd ones, so many arcane and austere ones. And the one that I've heard from so many people that seems to be the most powerful is a simple four word prayer. It's usually issued when the S really hits the fan, so to speak. And it's four words and it says, God, please help me. It seems to be let's let's boil down all the window dressing and all the poetry and all the soliloquy that we might issue to God in order to uh, bend his ear or her ear down to God, please help me. And it's often issued by those who are kind of at rock bottom. They've tried everything. And a lot of, a lot of times people won't pray for any sort of help until they've exhausted every conceivable resource of their own understanding. And Maybe that's the way that things are designed. Maybe we're in a spiritual school and where it's incumbent upon us to try all of our own resources to figure things out on our own and come to understandings and synthesize things on our own until we reach a point where there's something that we don't know or an understanding that we don't have yet. And then, then we ask for it, just like a student might ask a very wise teacher for the answer of, to a question after they've legitimately tried everything at their disposal. Uh, there's that old saying, God helps those who help themselves. Maybe there's a corollary, which is God can't help those who won't help themselves. In other words, somebody saying, God, please help me. It's not trying. That's just laying in bed all day long, mired in self-pity and not doing anything, who's begging God please help me. There's no real way for God to help because they're not really exercising their own faculties, their own resources, their own capacities. But how truly legitimate is it when we've really exhausted everything that we know in an effort to try to improve things, to make things better for ourselves and everyone around us, when there's just this very humble pleading almost of God, please help me. And I believe it's the most powerful of all prayers. But as I was thinking of that prayer, it's like, why issue that prayer only when we're at rock bottom? Would it be possible that every moment of every day could just be a very subtle, God, please help me. God, please help me in this moment. Now, of course, the language is quite op optional. This is not a religious TV program that I'm delivering here. It's a spiritual one, which means it could be uh, universal mind, please guide me into better action or whatever it is. But still, those four words, God, please help me. Think how many humans have issued that prayer throughout the vast history of humankind. How many humans have been pushed to the absolute edge of their endurance and their capacity, and then finally cried out in sincere humility within themselves, God, please help me. And then they got the help that they needed. But why wait? Why wait for such low points? Why not? One of my friends calls it an open mic relationship with, with God, where we're always asking for help. God, please help me in this moment. Show me the right thing. Give me the right thought. And that way, perhaps the roller coaster ride of life can become a little more serene and a little more level in that we're always asking for help. We're always willing. And of course, as soon as we pray, God, please help me. The next thing we do is the next right indicated thing that we can think of. The one caveat, the one qualifier of praying, God, please help me, is that we've admitted to a wisdom greater than ourselves that we don't know. And the answer that comes in, we can't dictate what the answer is. We can't say, 
God, I'm going to ask for help, but make sure that it comes in in the way that I think is best because, you know, I'm smarter than you are. So this willingness to let the help come in in ways just profound, serendipitous, synchronicity, collaboration out of the blue from left field is really amazing when the prayer is issued with humility and honestness, honesty and willingness. So throughout this day and throughout this week, consider that open mic relationship, not just for the big problems, but certainly for the big ones, but that those moments throughout the day where we run into that, those sticky moments and that soft little gentle willingness of God, please help me. Give me the right thought. Give me the right insight. And if we do that consistently, we can keep that channel more open, more available, more ready. So I hope that makes sense. I hope it might help you out throughout your day. And remember, God does help those who, does, who do help themselves, but God can't help those who won't help themselves. So by meditating, by praying, for being in action, you're doing your part of the bargain. Okay, you guys, I'll see you all tomorrow.